If you're looking for the best DSLR camera money can buy, look no further. We've put all of the new and greatest DSLR models to the test and compiled a list of our favorites. So, whether you're looking for a great beginner camera or a high-end professional beast, this buying guide will help you find the best DSLR camera for your needs, skills, and budget. In 2021, there are a variety of reasons why you would want to upgrade your DSLR camera. Despite the fact that most manufacturers are concentrating on the mirrorless market, the right DSLR camera can still offer a number of benefits. For example, battery life is excellent, and a DSLR is still the most cost-effective way to get a camera with interchangeable lenses, and the only way to get one with an optical viewfinder. Furthermore, the best DSLR cameras in 2021 have features that are on par with the best mirrorless cameras, such as 4K capture, image stabilization, and cutting-edge connectivity. Beginners can find the handling and button layout of a DSLR more available, while hobbyists will find the performance and flexibility they need to develop as photographers, along with the lens options to match, with the right DSLR. Check out our mirrorless versus DSLR feature to learn more about the main differences between DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Already convinced that a DSLR is the right camera for you? We've compiled a list of our favorite DSLR cameras for every kind of photographer at every price point. The Nikon D3500 is our current favorite. It's an excellent option for beginners because it has a wide range of features, access to Nikon's extensive lens catalog, and it's also reasonably priced. Experienced photographers with larger budgets, on the other hand, would definitely prefer the Canon EOS 90D, our favorite mid-range model with a high pixel count, excellent image quality, and uncropped 4K video to match. That isn't to say that either model is the best DSLR for you. If you're looking for a world-beating all-rounder, something more simple on a budget, or something in between, the list below will point you in the right direction. Number 10. Nikon D5600. Launched in 2018, the well-equipped Nikon D5600 remains an appealing mid-range package for both beginners and more experienced users. It might lack a standout skill, but its combination of a 24.2MP sensor, an articulating touchscreen, a decent 39.AF system and neat proportions mean it's still well worth a look. The D5600's polycarbonate shell fits nicely in the hand and is comfortable to grip, while the streamlined button layout proves uncluttered and easy to use. The articulating touchscreen is less effective for autofocus control, but flick to the viewfinder and you'll find the AF system solid, fast and accurate. With the same sensor as the D5500 before it, images are reliably excellent. The high resolution offers plenty of detail, while images captured at lower ISO sensitive are clean, with little noise, and it's only at ISO 6400 that quality starts to suffer. Dynamic range is also impressive, aided by a matrix system that copes well with a range of lighting situations. And while 5 FPS burst shooting isn't as fast as mirrorless rivals, an 820-shot battery life towers over most. So, while no single feature of the D5600 will blow you away, it's nevertheless a solid all-rounder that's more affordable than ever. Number 9. Canon EOS Rebel T8i, Canon EOS 850D. The Canon EOS Rebel T8i, known outside the US as the EOS 850D, is the successor to one of our favorite DSLRs for beginners, the Canon EOS Rebel T6i. While it isn't a huge step up from the Rebel T7i, EOS 800D, which is now hard to come by, it does have a nearly identical shooting experience thanks to Canon's excellent dual pixel phase detection AF system. It's easy to shoot with thanks to the flexible, Vari Angle LCD screen and comfortable button layout, and you get 800 shots per charge while using the viewfinder. The only real drawback is that the 4K video format still needs cropping and the lack of phase detection autofocus, so this is still mostly a 1080p camera. If you don't mind that and prefer the benefits of DSLRs, such as battery life and handling, the Rebel T EOS 850D is an excellent option for starting out in photography. Number 8. Nikon D750. Can full-frame fans consider the Nikon D750 now that the Nikon D780, above, has been released? Yeah, since the D780 isn't a substitute for this camera, but rather a more expensive choice for those looking for the new mirrorless tricks in DSLR form. 
This 2.4 MP model remains a great choice if you're looking for a decent value full-frame DSLR that's almost half the price. The sensor still delivers excellent results, particularly at high ISO settings, and you get a respectable 6.5 FPS continuous shooting speed as well as a tilting screen. Since it's an older model, it doesn't have 4K video or a touchscreen, but if you don't need these features, the D750 is a great value that allows you to spend more money on lenses. Number 7. Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. Canon's EOS 5D series of cameras has a long history. The original EOS 5D introduced full-frame photography to the masses, the Mark II introduced full HD video capture to a DSLR for the first time, and the Mark III became a photographer's favorite for doing everything it did so well. With a 30.4 MP sensor and sophisticated 61.0 AF setup, as well as 4K video capture, the EOS 5D Mark IV tweaks and improves on everything before it. With a successor to the 5D Mark V looking highly unlikely, it will remain one of the most appealing DSLRs at this price point. Naturally, the frame rate is limited in 4K video, with a maximum of 30 frames per second and no choice to film in a flat gamma profile. However, if you're primarily interested in a powerful DSLR for stills photography, the EOS 5D Mark IV remains a surprisingly modern option, particularly given its age, and the fact that it's still available new is testament to its popularity. Number 6. Canon EOS 6D Mark II. Despite being a full-frame DSLR, the EOS 6D Mark II is incredibly user-friendly. Although the chassis can feel a little cheap, the 2.6MP sensor inside is excellent, and it features Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF system in live-view mode. There's plenty you can catch with 45 AF points to choose from and a burst pace of 6.5 FPS, including some good wildlife shots. It's not quite quick enough for fast-paced trackside racing shots, but it handles most other tasks admirably. For those that don't have a joystick, the 6D Mark II has tap to focus and tap to shoot on the back touchscreen. Despite this, the 6D Mark II is dependable, produces excellent performance, and is still a favorite among enthusiast photographers. Number 5. Canon EOS 250D, EOS Rebel SL3. Despite its limited scale, Canon's best budget DSLR, the Rebel SL3 also known as the EOS 250D outside the US, combines a solid feature set with excellent handling. The Nikon D3500, scene number 1, is even smaller, but it lacks the flip-out LCD screen found on this camera, which is particularly useful when shooting video. The Rebel SL3 also adds 4K video recording to its now-defunct predecessor, though this is cropped and rolling shutter is always visible. Nonetheless, it provides pleasing JPEGs, a long battery life of 1070 shots, and compatibility with a large number of EF lenses and other accessories that most mirrorless cameras lack. If those are the features you're looking for in a camera, this beginner-friendly DSLR is a great option. Number 4. D780, Nikon. The Nikon D780 is a cross between a full-frame DSLR and a mirrorless camera such as the Nikon Z6. This makes it a good, if pricey, choice for someone who wants to get the best of both worlds. The D780 builds on the strong base of the D750, which will continue to be available, see below, and features the same 273-point on chip phase detection autofocus system as the Z6, as well as an outstanding 2260-shot battery life if you prefer to aim through the optical viewfinder. The image quality is among the best, and the inclusion of modern features including face and eye detection boosts the camera's 4K video capabilities. It's a little expensive right now as a new DSLR, but if that's not a problem for you, it's one of the best full-frame all-rounders you can find. Number 3. Nikon D7500, Nikon D7500. Do you like the Nikon D500 but not the price? Okay. If you're willing to make a few concessions here and there, the D7500 is the camera for you. It has the same 20.9 MP sensor as its more senior stablemate, and it also records 4K footage. Nikon has also equipped it with the same 180K pixel RGB metering sensor, a 3.2-inch tilting panel on the back that's not quite as detailed as the one on the front, and it's all housed in a weather-sealed body. Are you on a tighter budget? There's also the older Nikon D7200 with 24.2 MP, which is always a good deal if you can find it on sale. Number 2. 
EOS 90D, Canon. The EOS 90D is a significant step forward for the EOS DSLR series, as it is the first model with a 32.5 MP sensor. Given its latest announcement, it also appears that Canon thinks the DSLR format has some legs. 4K video capture, which is luckily uncropped, as well as a new processing engine and quicker burst shooting, help to distinguish it from the previous EOS 80D. The 1300 shot battery is much more powerful than the typical mirrorless camera's battery, and the dust and water resistance is a welcome addition. Although modern mirrorless cameras, such as Canon's own EOS M62, which uses the same sensor, take some of the appeal away from cameras like the EOS 90D, the company has made this a powerful and flexible camera for anyone who prefers the DSLR shooting experience by concentrating on everything from resolution and burst rate to video and more. Number 1. Nikon D3500. In contrast to some of the full-frame DSLRs on this list, the Nikon D3500 is extremely inexpensive, has one of the sharpest APS-C sensors available, and comes with a handy retracting kit lens. A word of caution. There are two models of this lens, and the one with VR, Nikon's image stabilization system, is worth the extra $20 per £20. It proves that you don't have to spend a lot to get a good camera, and we think its value for money is on par with much more advanced, and much more expensive, alternatives. The controls are built to be user-friendly for beginners, and in the right hands, it can compete with cameras that cost far more. The Nikon D3500 is a tough camera to beat if you want to get more adventurous with your photography and are searching for your first DSLR.